What's good, y'all? It's your boy Little Roy, aka Little Roy TV, and we back with another video. You see the title, you see the laptop, so you know what we're about to talk about. Air Jordan 4 Midnight Navies, should you invest or should you not? Well, we'll get into that information just in a bit. Just make sure you stay tuned, and if you're new here, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my other channel, as well as leave comments, because I also read and also respond to all comments and questions. Um, also, go follow me on Instagram, go show love over there, support me over there. Um, what else? Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys this shoe just in case I posted previous video about this shoe. Just in case it's your first time seeing my video, go check that out. I did a must cop on these, I did a pickup video on these, I did a whole bunch of stuff. So, in case this is your first time, we do videos like this as well. So, should you invest, should you not? Let's get right into the video. Let's get it. All right, so off rip, before I go into anything about the prices, just in case, like I said, it's your first time seeing the video, here's the box for the men's sizes, and here's the box for the GS sizes. So based off what we're gonna do in the video first, we'll do men's prices, then then we'll also do GS. So let's just open it up. So let's take out the men's pair right here. And then we'll take out a GS pair, which this is, ends up being a size five. Let's take that out. So we could just go over and I don't have to keep checking for them. Now, if I had a son or a daughter right now, I would have easily kept this for personal. And then I would have had my child wear the GS size. Mind you, this is a cute ass combination. I can't front this shoe. I do like this shoe, but I need money right now. So yeah. Ah. Uh, so that's this, GS pairs, men's pairs. We're about to talk about that right now. So let's put this back right here for a little bit and let's open up the computer. So first and foremost, the men's pairs. All right, that person gotta wait. So men's pairs on the resale market, size eight through all the way to 14. It all ranges up from 300 plus right now. Literally, this shoe is worth 300 plus, and I know retail was I think 210 plus tax, like 217, depending on where you are. I don't know, but um, definitely, definitely, um, it's gonna cost you in the resale market right now 300 dollars. Now, if you could find someone, because obviously shipments didn't come in yet from the W's on sneakers, so by time this week, within the next couple weeks, within the whole month, maybe of November, prices will dip down a little bit. I would say, depending on how you feel comfortable buying sizes 8 through maybe 10, um, you know, they might be a good investment if you feel comfortable getting those sizes. Now, most people don't because whatever, unless it's a very really good steal. But um, when the shipment comes in, I'm pretty sure they go from 300 plus to maybe right under 300, like 280. Uh, and if you can find people that's going to sell you for the low, Honestly, I do think this shoe should stay 300 plus. Like, this is an amazing shoe. The more I look at it, the more I get mad that my mom actually hit, like, not hit, but she got my size in the in-store first come, first serve because it makes me want the shoe even more. Like, if I would have got a 9 or a 10 and a half or a 10, I would have like, all right, cool. I don't care about keeping it or thinking about it because, you know. And this just makes me want my navy blue, white, red dunks even more because I want a navy blue shoe I can wear all the time. And this is a Jordan 4. This is an amazing Jordan 4. And this is my size, the nine and a half. I could just lace them up. And these will be so far. But, um, you know, right now, I'm not going to sell this. I mean, I am going to sell it. I'm not going to think about keeping. I know it's a nice shoe, but fuck that. I'll just wait till they drop the white cements. Threes, I think, next year. But, um, yeah. I'm not going to be forced to keep a navy blue shoe when I don't even wear that much navy blue. Yes, it's an amazing shoe, but... Men's sizes, they're going for 300 plus. Would I invest? I mean, if they dip to 260, that's when I would invest in men's sizes. 260 is crazy because retail, like I said, with the taxes, 217. Estimate that to 220. If you're paying 260, that's $40 profit. That's crazy. But if someone says 280, I still think that's good enough. If someone even says 300, I think that's good enough because I was going to cash out people 300 day of as well just because 300, I think, is a reasonable price. 300. They make $80 profit. You could definitely sell this for more than $300, depending on where you sell it and who you sell it to and the clientele. 
and all that good stuff. So, 300, I would invest, but to me, that's only if you have capital. Men's sizes are ex more expensive, so you gotta put that in accountability, right? So, the GS sizes. Now, let's get into that right now. Sizes 5 to 7, right now, goes for like 220 plus, probably like 250, 240. But they're high right now because there's not that much on the market that people was able to touch. Now, this shoe is gonna skyrocket. If you could hold this for one year, it's gonna go way up more than 220. I promise you that. Because one, outside of the navy blue, a lot of people that have GS pairs, they're just gonna wear them. Cause it's a white shoe, gray. It'll get dirty, then they'll want them again. But overall, this is a good shoe. I would love to invest in these, not gonna lie to you. Um yeah, if I could find people that's gonna sell it for 200 200 max. If someone says 210, but they got a full size run, I would take it. 210. 220 is pushing it, but I don't want to pay 220 to be honest. But yeah, this great investment, GS sizes, because they're not going for that much. Like I said, I think retail on these was 160 plus tax is 177, almost 180. And you buy it for 200 that's literally $20 profit for them, or 220 that's $40 profit for them. But for you, it could be definitely way more than 200 220 whatever you want to buy it at. But um, definitely, like I said right now, if you want to buy it just for personal, it still goes for 220 plus, depending on size, obviously. But for investment purposes, I do think you should invest more in GS than men's because think about it. You pay 300 say 320 for these, and then it goes for 400 You only make $80 to 100 right? Now, if you buy these at $200... Essentially, if you get a hundred dollars more, you pay four hundred. So, four hundred for the for two of these, or close to four hundred for one of these, to make them not, not that much, you know, price margin. So this you can make maybe a hundred dollar profit. With the GS, you could essentially make a hundred and fifty profit each GS pair. So if you do one fifty plus one fifty, that's three hundred dollars. You just made three hundred dollars for nothing. You buy this for three twenty and sell it for four hundred. You made eighty dollars. So eighty dollars. 300 you see the different margins so what i also could be i could also do is sell all my men's pairs then take what i paid retail for the two like say it's simple say i got it for retail 220 like i said 217 whatever i sell them all for 320 so i make a hundred dollar profit literally off this i keep the hundred profit but i take the 200 dollars i bought these and just buy gs's so i got a hundred profit but i just keep buying the gs's you get what i'm saying so I think, I don't know if I want to do that. Might just do that, to be honest. But um, we'll see what happens. But I do think it's an investment. Um, That's my little information in case you want to just follow me or just use my information. But um, that's it for the little spill. You can either listen or don't listen. That's on you. Um, Make smart investments if you have the capital, if you have the money. If you don't, then... Yeah, I don't know what to tell you then, so don't buy nothing. But if you have some capital and you're like, hey, I don't know what to invest in, invest in these. Also, the black canvases. I didn't do a video on those. Maybe I should, but I'm doing it now for these. Um, Yeah, because think about it. Going into the end of the year, you want to have a lot of stock and, you know, stuff that's going to sell guarantee. So I know these are going to sell guarantee. Um, What else? What else? What else? Um... Yeah, because you think about next month, what you got, you don't got that much heat. Everyone's waiting on the lost and found Jordan ones, but no one's really going to be cooking mad at those. I assume as a regular consumer, back door and all that, of course, they're going to have those. But if you're a person that wants something to invest in, I think in your mind, you should just cancel out December and just buy more of these, to be honest. Because the Cherry 11s, people do want them, they're like 50-50, but only uh, 11s that do good are men's in big sizes. That's fine. And then you got Jordan 2, Chicago 2s. Nobody wants those, really. Um, I don't know why, but I get it. Because 2s is not a popular silhouette. And then you got, the, of course, the Lost and Founds that, you know, people, everybody wants them. But if you're talking about money right now, invest in these and the black canvases. That's the little spill because I didn't do a video on the black canvases. But I'm out of here. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for supporting, as always. Your boy Little Roy is out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.